everyone and welcome to part two of of a drone graph tutorial uh, so uh, when we left off uh, this is how much we've done we got the eyes uh, part of the nose and, uh, and the feet looks done I believe and it is uh, so this one uh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to wrap up on uh, the simple shapes that are involved in this picture and uh and i'll help you get started with the uh with the more complicated shapes like the face and uh maybe the horns i'm not sure how complicated that's going to be um yeah yes yeah, more complicated than the than the other ones that we're going to be doing uh so so the one that's probably the easiest of uh of everything is is uh, it's probably this body right here, um, which which still resembles a circle. Uh, so we can so we can still use the basic equation for a circle, uh, which is not basic, the more general one. So it's I want to give this one a try. Uh, so equation is supposed to know it's not that it's, it's x squared plus y minus. <laughs> Sure, this number is going to be it. Let's go to the square of the radius. As we want to go down, we're going to make this, this number positive. Then we're going to uh, adjust the radius to, oh, to uh, how we want it. Uh, And the thing with this one is that uh, since we have, have like kind of like this this entire head overlapping the circle, we're not actually going to set the boundaries for the circle just there. Like we can we can start setting boundaries, but but it's not going to be be, uh, be solved yet. Uh, so it's just this height. And just the radius. Number lock on my keypad. 2.9 squared should be uh, bigger than 3. 1. You can work with that. And just to make this look a tad bit nicer, uh, we can set this. We can start. Setting y boundaries, like we can see, this one is negative three point eight one four, and we can also set this boundary right here, which is negative three point two zero nine, point two zero nine. That's all we can really do at the moment. Uh, and I'm also going to going to turn off this visibility so I won't interfere with the rest of the picture. Uh, now for for the for the first part, see the equation for this shape right here. It's well, I've seen that that it's almost a circle, but then but then like once it hits, it's at, at around uh, this this horizontal axis right here. It, the the shape changes to what appears to be a uh, a form of parabola. Um, um, so I want to see it's like a kind of parabola or uh, or maybe nah, no, it's not hyperbola. It's not enough to be hyperbola. So so uh, we can start with the top part of the head. So we can start with we can start with another circle. Uh, so we can experiment experiment around with this. Uh, this is 
His head is what looks like to be made up of more than one one shape. So uh, I'm gonna start with the equation for a circle. I've written that loads of times. <laughs> Y minus, I don't know what this number is going to be yet. You can put in whatever you want. Uh, there's something unreasonable. 2 radius squared. If I can maybe adjust its radius. Move this a little bit. Okay, I'm thinking about actually making this circle a little bit thinner on the y-axis, just just to see what happens. It's a wider now, does it? Okay, and then we can maybe adjust this, move this up a little bit. I want a slider might come in handy. Uh, and that's probably not a very good time for that. Okay. Wait, so we did need to squish this by a little bit. Uh, and then I want to purposely turn this visibility off again, and then, then we just connect the two shapes down here. This is this is this looks like what's should be in between a parabola and a uh, and a hyperbola. Like it starts out as, as as what looks like a hyperbola, but then it curves off like a parabola. Uh, so uh, so uh, and uh, I don't want to overcomplicate this this graph. So I was just start with something straightforward. Start with this. I feel like shape might work out better. I'm going to give e to the x squared a try. Subtract off 2.5. 2 times two. So better. Even 6.6. Six. Really can expand, uh, widen this up. That's not helping. A hyperbola might actually be the optimal choice in this case. It was one plus x squared. And then uh, and we just adjust this. To however you want it. So we're gonna make this squared again and then we just simply adjust this to however we want. So with this number in here, the 1.5 squared, that, that's adjusting that's saying how much we want this we, we want this thing to curve. So uh, and we want this to start out pretty strong but then gradually connect with the top part of the circle that, that we've already had created. We can squish on the x axis. On uh, the most optimal <laughs> keyboard layout. And this number I feel like should be squared just to keep things consistent. If you, if you square things, it, it keeps the numbers nicer to work with. All right, so I'll play around with, with this and, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you what happened when I get back. All right, so I was fiddling around with some numbers and 
it was a this like a really iterative process of of uh of finding the equation like there's like no perfect line that can trace like your perfect shape unless unless uh unless everything that you're drawing is like your perfect ge geometric shape uh so so i found the hyperbola to be the best graph that i can come up with uh i'm sure there's there's a better one out there i just have i have like a suspicious feeling that there is if you know of one uh, do drop it down in the comments and i'll and i'll make adjustments when i when i find time for that um but uh, anyways this the hyperbola is the best shape that i've found uh tried e to the x squared and the shape was really off uh, and has and uh I was thinking of doing like a secant or a cosecant to fit on here, and, and that's and that's already not going to work. I can already see it not working. Uh, and then a, and a, an e to the x squared that that shape just didn't work out. The parabola didn't work out. I probably already repeat the equations that I try to do. Um, but too long didn't read this this lot. This graph is seems to be the optimal graph. All right, and then we can and connect it with the circle graph that we had, and we're gonna use the point that I feel might be the most restrictive point, and that's and uh, and that y value is negative zero point one eight nine, which seems reasonable. So add that in. This is it's negative zero point one eight nine. And then uh, this circle is going to be the opposite. We'll go the other way, and and it's already taking shape. So, so this circle graph, like as you can see, like we have have the ears that that still need to come out. Um, but the good news is we can actually go back here and just and uh, adjust this y value right here. So this is one point four one nine, and we want on everything underneath it. So we also want this to be so check 1.419. Maybe <coughs> greater than this, but less than that. So we should actually put this right here, 1.419. If this column means or, I've been misinterpreting that. I don't want to give you wrong information. Uh, but yeah, this line we, we can in the, we can put that in ink. Uh, all right. So okay. So the last shape that I want to do today, uh, I, I I will finish this. Um, Uh, I'm trying to figure out like like what what I want to do do um, in the tutorial and not on the tutorial like the horns like I feel like this shape is probably probably the most complicated shape and that one looks like a combination of a log and a parabola I want to say I've never actually worked with. Actually, See what these graphs look like. My sec squared. Well, then I think I found a way to kind of guess the shape. So, so if you want, so if you want something that's that's both a logarithm and a and a, and a parabola, all you need to do is just add them together. If you plus, you'll get the you get the opposite effect. Uh, not always true, but you know, I'll leave this equation here, and uh, for the adjustment factor, I will leave you to it. So we can. So this is going to subtract h as well, and then uh, and and this whole thing thing is going to be shifted by k units.
and we don't know what that number is going to be until we actually play around with it. I might have, I might have found you the the H value, but and the key value maybe. Play around with it like that. Is that 4.2? Yeah, so K is 4.2 and H is 2. And maybe like adjust these equations, like you can adjust the width of these things to however you want. And since we did that, we might have to, to move numbers around. So this is another iterative process that, that uh, you would need to go through and, and uh, and I'm already demonstrating how I can do that. And as you can see, if you've already you've already made an improvement on on, on fitting this line to to uh, to this one right here. All right. So so, uh, so I, I'm not going to so 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 the third part will will continue with with the ears and. I mean this part right here. I I, I don't I don't know my goats, but this, this this appears to be like the the hair that comes out from the chin. Uh, I think I think that's how how that how a name goatee got his name. So, anyways, uh, I'll I'll leave you to this and uh, and uh, and I'll finish this with you next week.